Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here today on ESG and Nanus. We're back here for another great episode here. Hopefully it'll be a great episode of uh, Madden 20 and this is Face of the Franchise QB1 with Khalil Kelly. So this is episode 16 and we are back here for week 11 as we are going to be hosting the 3 and 6 Buffalo Bills. Now uh, last time we met up with the Bills here. We're, uh, it was back in week seven, and we played them there in uh, Buffalo. Uh, but since then, uh, they have not been doing too well. They are two and one in the last three games, losing to the Eagles in week eight, 17 to 10. Uh, they defeated the uh, Washington uh, Redskins uh, 20 to seven, and then losing to the Browns just last week in a huge loss of uh, 41 to 17. As you take a look there, we get some. Uh, smack talk there and of course uh, if we can try to back that up here on the field here today we'll get some uh, XP here and I will try to see what we can do here in this situation there you see the last place team right now the one and eight Buccaneers there so they uh, if they keep it up they will uh, get the number one uh, draft pick for next season uh, so there you see what I was just talking about earlier and there you see uh, since uh, they played us there uh, several weeks ago there uh, yeah it's just uh, been a kind of a bit of a just uh, you know they lost two straight there to uh, one to us and one to the Eagles and they were able to rebound against Washington 17 is uh, 20 to 17 but then last week they got just uh, real just got just hammered 41 to 17 there in Cleveland so uh, Baker Mayfield and company were just not playing around uh, <laughs> for that game and it took the win so we'll see if they, if they can try to bounce back against us like I said we had a pretty good game against them of course Kelly's been on fire as of late and he and this team has been uh, doing a great job here balancing the run in the path but of course the defense is still questionable uh, we've had some uh, close you know we had some games here that uh, kind of scratch your head at like okay uh, how are we still in this game? And then, of course, a lot of people, people like uh, the talking heads there of ESPN and Fox Sports, like Skip Bayless and company, saying, "How is this young man keeping this team, uh, this this team alive? How are the, you know, look at the look at the division right now? Nine and zero division leaders right now. They are, of course, uh, could be getting an AFC buy if they keep it up here uh, for the season. And of course, every, you know, that's what everybody's asking here." Uh, a lot of Miami fans are saying, "Hey, this kid is uh, this kid's got spirit. This kid's got uh, some some grit. He got some moxie here." And there you see a nice run there for Ken on Kendra Drake. There you see his numbers from last week. There, 22 carries, 115 yards, and two touchdowns. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think Drake was asking us this week to really help him out here in the running game. Here, he wants to be able to. Uh, gets uh, some uh, nice runs. I think he wants to get like 150 yards uh, either uh, receiving or passing or a combination of and a couple of rushing touchdowns. So we'll try to see what we can do here in this game here. Can't uh, guarantee him any, you know, much, uh, but we'll just try to see whatever we, the defense there of the uh, Bills gives us here. It gives us and uh, wants to give up here. That's what we're going to have to take. So uh, Kelly here under center here, second and two. We'll see him drop back there deep in the pocket. And that is going to go to Galicki as he gets the catch there. And he's going to be put down at the 40-yard line. So a big run or big catch there from him as he has now 23 yards now here in the ball game here today. So there you see defense here just trying to figure out what they can try to do here against Kelly. As Kelly and the... Uh, Bron or uh, Kelly and the uh, I was gonna say Broncos, geez. Kelly and the, um, um, the Dolphins here down by seven, so not too bad here. They can get back in this one here quickly. Not down just yet. Still early in this ball game. As we'll see, the ball at the 31 yard line here. Hand to Ken John Drake. Drake make a couple of breaking tackles there, and then finally gets wrapped down there at the 25 yard line. So we'll see here what they'll do this time around here. I'm sure they're going to try and change things up. Can't give it to Drake too, too much here as they'll start, of course, uh, keying on to that. And we just want to make sure he is loose when we do need him. 
as you have a first and ten here with ball on the 15 yard line so we're in the red zone here as a lot of teams call it the green zone we'll see what we'll be able to do here now here as I believe there's an audible call and there you see handoff there to Kenny on Drake and Drake gets in there for a rushing touchdown what a run and that is a touchdown, I believe, number seven, or I believe, something like that. I forgot. I forgot the number, really, to be quite honest here. But he gets in there. That's the first one of the day. So, yeah, okay, so seven, his seventh rushing touchdown, uh, I believe, down there in the, the goals there. He's won at five for the uh, season here. And we'll see here. That is going to be a nice carry there as uh, we get now. A, uh, another first down. Now, defense here actually did a really good job here and uh, in keeping uh, the Bills here in this area here. I believe we've got a pretty good return. So, we've got a pretty good short field here. And uh, there you see, actually, I believe it was an interception. My bad. I was looking at my notes here. It was an interception. So, we got some good uh, defense here uh, from Miami here helping us out here. So, we should be able to score on this drive here. Third and one. As they hand this one off at the seven yard line there. And no, nope, Drake cannot go anywhere there. As uh, the Bills defense able to penetrate that offensive line there. And we'll be two yards shy there as he gets pushed back a yard on that one there. So Drake cannot do anything that time. And of course, that means uh, we don't leave no points on the field there. So we're going to try to take three here and kick, of course, a field goal to get a uh, lead here. Uh, so, um, we go ahead and, uh, well, actually, no, we do not get the field goal there. As we go ahead and see here, uh, we'll see there, that is going to be a good, <laughs> look at that pass there. Beautiful pass as Steels gets the catch there. 24 yards on the reception. Steels, like I said, has been a great asset here for Kelly in this, uh, in this, you know, first season here. And of course, the question is if, if we can keep him around. There you see Bullard there runs this one there, and he gets seven on the play. And this is actually, a, I've been uh, set, trying to set this up uh, in the slider set where uh, the, yeah, I need to really change up, uh, you know, not have those reliable uh, backs and stuff like that. So I really uh, try to do a good job here uh, in the slider set to change out the, uh, you know, turn the fatigue um, where it's, uh, you know, can't recover as quickly. Uh, not to mention, as you see there, uh, Kilgore gets uh, caught there with a penalty. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, look, working on some different slider sets here. Um, I've been kind of testing out and working uh, for the simple fact of just trying to bring swap guys in and out. So the substitutions here. And so far, it's been working pretty pretty good here. Uh, but there you see him going across midfield there for uh, Allen. Of course, last week he was there back in Indy had a great game there with him we'll see if they continue here in today's game as he has a nice first down uh, but yeah I've been trying to work on some different just a customizable uh, career mode slider set here in this one and uh, so far uh, I, I it's uh, it's something I've been kind of working on here the last couple of years uh, I kind of looked up uh, this old slider set that I had with Matt Marvel um, several uh, Maddens ago and kind of been tweaking it and just trying to see um, what, it, what works. And I, I may put up a video here soon or maybe in one of the future episodes here I'll show you guys what the slider set looks like. Uh, it's pretty basic. Um, nothing, uh, you know, nothing too much. I try to, you know, try to set up the same way if I was setting it up uh, like a franchise. Uh, but just focus on the passing. So, uh, you know, I, I did put some uh, sl kind of slider some s things in there for, you know, uh, for his case, you know, he's going to miss a couple passes here and there. A uh, couple, not to mention some drop passes there. Um, so I didn't really mess with the defensive stuff numbers there. I just kind of worked on the offensive. Uh, I kind of left defense uh, both for the uh, – um, for the CPU and for the user, just kind of just uh, you know default, um, but offensively, um, and I think I did the same thing for all the offense for the defense there, just left it default. Uh, but offense, you know, for me, um, we made it a little tougher uh, for passes, which so far here it's it, you know it's kind of been working out here for Kelly now. 
And we'll see here, hand this one off there to Bullridge. And yeah, he'll make a nice run there as he gets inside the 10. Put him at the nine yard line. It'll be a second and five. So uh, yeah, just trying to find a good, fun, uh, but still kind of competitive uh, slider set that here that uh, will work for us. As you see there, great run there from Drake. Almost getting inside, but gets uh, denied at the two. So we'll see if they can try to finish this drive off here with this run. As we have four minutes left here in the in the first half, we'll see if Kelly can try to uh, get his halfback here muscled in here. As we'll see, Kenyon Drake gets in there, and that is his second rushing touchdown of the day. What a run there from him, and what a way there you see. Kelly, yeah, he's uh, he's keeping his promise here. He's trying to help his boy out here to have a nice running game here. And so far, it is working here now. I believe he's getting close to the century mark. So we're getting close to that 150 mark, and it doesn't have to be all rushing. Uh, we can get some passing in there if we uh, can find some plays there that will work out and uh, be in our favor here to help him out here to get some yards here. He really wants to put, um, I know... Um, I was talking to Kelly before the game, and he said, you know, he, you know, his Drake wants to put the uh, load. You know, he doesn't want uh, Kelly to have all the fun. He doesn't want Kelly to have all the pressure. He wants to help out, so he wants to have this running game going and get things moving here. And and, and so far here, at least in today's game, it's really working out here. So we'll see if uh, we'll see as we got to two minute warning here. We'll see what we can do here. Second and seven. Passing this one underneath our own the shadow of the goalpost. And there you see Kenny Steeles breaks a tackle. And he keeps going there. He is going down the field here. And this is going to the house. Fans in Miami are going crazy. That is a huge touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Now over a 1,000-yard mark here. And that is a huge play there. As that is going to now put six points on the board. That I think that was, a what, a 90-something I say, well, yeah, about a 91, 85-yard reception there. So nice job there from him as he's able to take that one to the house. And the fans in uh, Miami here in South Beach are just eating this up. And they are definitely uh, going to try to keep guys like Skip Bayless and, and uh, Stephen A. and all those guys, uh, you know, keep them quiet there nationally because uh, this team is uh, showing that they are not going to be tanking at all. So Flores is pretty, very happy here as uh, he is now one for three today in, in their goals here for passing touchdowns as we do still have a tight ball game here. Like I said, defense is going to be still an issue here, still questionable. Uh, something that they're going to have to work on during the course of the season and of course, most importantly, Try to work it, uh, work on it during the off season here, to try to complement the uh, offense that they're having right now, especially having the QB out there. We'll take a see, take a little quick break here. We'll see it's a 21 to 14 ball game here at half, and we'll see uh, what they'll be coming up on the drawing board here for the Dolphins as we take a look at this halftime stats there. 180, 88 yards on the ground there. Nice job there. Pretty good day here. Uh, doing their best here, really, to be quite honest. Uh, just uh, balancing the um, run and the pass here. Just take a look at some uh, scores around the league here. Uh, the, uh, Washington there, 10 7 there in that game there in DC. As we go up to now to Detroit and take a look here, Cowboys 5 4 for the season, going against a 4 5 Lions. There you see they. Our uh, lines are being um, uh, not destroyed, but at least being uh, controlled there. 14 to 3 there by the Cowboys. And then you see in this one a nice uh, AFC, or excuse me, NFC South game. Uh, Falcons 4 and 4 going against the Panthers. And uh, Falcons leading that one by 4, 14 to 10. So, uh, trying to make some second half adjustments here. Hopefully, we can have some more big plays here. As uh, we can really, if we can get, I would say, another two or three more big plays like this, and our defense can try to, you know, uh, keep themselves together here, not give up any more points here, we could have a nice win here. 
So 21-14 as we start the second half. We'll see a pass there. That is going to go to Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake gets the screen pass, and he gets the huge first down at the 45-yard line. And there you see he gets some nice reception yards here. So that's Like I said, that's going to help him out here for his goals that he wants to have for himself here. He wants, I believe, three touchdowns, uh, three rushing touchdowns, and, of course, uh, 150 yards uh, rushing or receiving or the combination of both. So we'll see what we can do. Like I said, so far here, he's doing a pretty good job. As uh, We'll see now first and 10, and we'll see Kelly here. Thones is one up the middle there. That is going to go to Albert Wilson, and Wilson's going to be brought down at the 31. <coughs> Excuse me, nice uh, catch there from him as he's getting close to a little over now, 750 yards now for the season as uh, they're starting to just get these numbers uh, for the season up for these Miami receivers. And, of course, that's all from the help of Kelly. As you see a nice uh, catch and uh, a nice throw, or, yeah, a nice catch there from uh, Wilson. We'll see now here first and 10 here, ball in the 31-yard line, nine minutes left here in the third quarter. I mean, Kelly looking there. He got a nice pocket here. And, oh, he just gets hit there as he stays in the pocket way too long. And defensive lineman, there you see, showing off his uh, dance moves there. Gets a nice sack. So we'll see if Kelly can try to bounce back here. When anytime you have a, uh, a uh, sack, yeah, it just rattles you there some. And you kind of get you off your, pat, your uh, pace that you hit were on. So he gets the uh, back in there to the uh, back, at least uh, getting a little over past the lines, original line scrimmage here from that great pass. We'll see ball now at the 27 yard line here. And we'll see what Kelly's going to do with the open backfield here. He's looking, fires this one there, and gets this one to his tight end. But this one, I don't think they're going to give it to us here. Yeah. And it's fourth and inches there as uh, the the, uh, the crew's going to come out and mark this one. And yeah, they, yeah, they end up. Uh, they say he is shy just of an inch or a couple inches there of getting the first down. So the question is, is take a look at this uh, nice uh, uh, re uh, uh, this uh, replay package there. Uh, we'll see that Kelly looks like he's going to come off the field. Okay, so we get real good field position here as we get a quick uh, nice three and out on the Bills. And actually, it was actually an interception. So we get some good uh, yard short yardage here. We get this one to... Of course, uh, 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 Drake there on that one as he goes to the outside there. Second and three. We'll see. Handoff there. And again, oh, there you see Bulbers trying, or I should say, Drake trying to get into the end zone there as he has 17 carries for 89 yards. So he's trying his best to get to that century mark there. And we're trying our best to help him out here, trying to feed him the ball as much as possible, trying to get that momentum going, trying to get that pace that he needs to get himself set for here. As we see a handoff there, and he's trying to get around the defender and dust. So there's a, well, there's a linebacker, or I should say a lineman there right on his tail. And that is going to be a touchdown there for Miami. It's going to be 28 to 14 after the extra point. And uh, still plenty of time here in this ball game here. As uh, we still, you know, like I said, a lot of time here. And of course our defense not the best here at all here in South Beach but like I said game by game they're getting better and better here and just gotta you know really improve those small little things there as we go along here and see fours and of course Kelly they're talking so move on now here as we get a quick three and out now we'll see back on the field here for Kelly as he's gonna run this or actually just say uh, bowlers are gonna run this one there for a couple of yards on the play so second and seven We'll see here, 2.45 left here in the third quarter. And Kelly here making sure, reading the, trying to read the defense as best he possibly can here. Running down the play clock, down to six here. He's going to hand his one off to Drake again, and that is going to be a huge first down. Keep feeding this monster. As we continue now here, and uh, we'll see what he can do here. The ball in the 29-yard line now this time. As you do get that first down here. And oh, Bull, or I should say Drake gets caught there. Okay, that might be on our on us there. I think we ran the ball just a little. We should just give him a little bit of a breather there. So we'll try to see what we can do here now in a second and 15. As uh, 
We'll see Drake here trying to play uh, air traffic controller here because he wants to make a nice play here. Huge play. Try to get a lot of yardage here on this uh, drive here. Especially on this play here. You see there's that one gets in there. That's going to go to Kenny Steels. And Kenny Steels gets pushed out there at the 12-yard line. Great catch there from Kenny Steels. He's over now almost near 150 now for the ball game. Four catches for 148 yards there. And, of course, one score as he has just been a just a monster right now here taking on these Bills as these Bills have been having a tough time trying to wrap him up. So ball the 12-yard line here after that big play here. Of course, that means that we're going to have to go on the ground. We'll see if we can try to get him in the end zone here on this dry on this run here we'll see a nice run on the outside there breaks tries to break a tackle there does but then gets pushed there but there will be a flag on the play and it's gonna be unnecessary roughness there on the bills as Midland just playing a little too rough there and we'll see here the ball put the, place the ball at the five yard line so huge play there thank you so much there as the refs there just says nope just Playing just a little too rough there, boys. And we'll see here if we can try to finish, cap this off here with a rushing touchdown here. And we'll see if, uh, we'll see Kelly here snaps this one finally as uh, we can, nope, cannot get there. As he has uh, three, still three touchdowns here, getting close to 100 yards. Trying to look for touchdown number four. And I might, this might just be overkill at this point here, but we'll see the run there, and that is going to be in the end zone there. Nice run as uh, they take another big score here, scoring really off of a uh, possible turnover. And we'll see. A nice run there. Good blocking. Making sure he gets in there, and that's exactly what Drake does. Gets in there, and that is going to be... Uh, another score. So we'll see Flores there talking to Kelly. Go to the fourth quarter now here, and it's 35 14 as we are the 13 yard line here after a bad play there from uh, Buffalo here. We'll see Kelly here throws this one up there to Kenny Steals, and Steals gets into the end zone there. Nice job of reading that slant route there, throwing right where he needed it. And we'll see. It's going to be a huge, huge play there. And it's going to now just increase his lead now to 42 to 14. So Steels has been just stepping up for this rookie here. And he's been kind of vocal here. He's been telling guys in the locker room, hey, we got something going here, especially with Kelly. Let's keep this up. And a lot of people in the locker room are really liking what the, the kind of leaving into it. So we'll see how things go here as we go. Now just uh, with 7.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Up by a couple scores now here. We just can just try to run the ball here. I think at some point here we're going to start bringing up Bullridge a little bit more. And maybe even get our third stringer involved here in this game. Maybe even Kelly can do some kind of little boot route here to get some yards on the ground here today. But we'll see here first and 10. Ball in the 37. And Kelly here. He's got to try to snap this ball here. But I think at the same time, he's trying to milk the clock as much as possible. As uh, there's just still too much time left here. And don't want to give that time to the Bills at, at all costs. So Kelly here. Again, play clock running down. And we'll see what he's going to snap. He's going to snap it at the 6. And we'll see uh, Drake there trying to break a tackle. And that is going to be just shy of the first down marker. So third and two. Try to make this quick version here. Bowler's in the backfield here. I believe it's going to be either a draw or possibly some kind of ISO here. As uh, we'll see an ISO there. That is going to be a nice run. As that's a beautiful handoff there from Kelly. Giving that one to Drake. So nice job there. As uh, we'll see here. Drake in the backfield now here. And Kelly there under center. And five minutes left here. He is really trying to just milk this clock as much as possible. And we'll see a run on the outside there. And that is going to be stopped 
That's nine on that uh, run. So now second and ten. We'll see if uh, Kelly may run, make a run here and uh, maybe do a little QB sneak or something. But he is uh, really just trying, he's trying to milk this clock as much as possible. And that right there is just going to be enough there for the first down as he makes a nice stop that or makes a nice uh, run there and we'll see here 42 17 and we'll see the ball at the 37 yard line here just beyond midfield in the uh, Bills territory here we'll see a handoff there 412 left here and then they stop him there and they keep him in bounds. That means that clock is going to continue running here. And that is what Kelly wants to do. That's what you need to do here at this point. Do not need to score. You've already shown what you could do here today against their defense. And, of course, our defense only gave up 17. So that's pretty good compared to some of the previous games here. But we'll see here. Handoff there. And, oh, he will get stopped in the backfield there. Kelly, I think they read the snap count pretty well there on Kelly. And that's what cost him there. As he now has to go for a third and nine. So a huge third and nine. Uh, should be a uh, probably a quick pass here or some. As we'll see what they can do. And this is going to be probably a deep pass here. And they do so there. Kenny Steals gets the catch. And there you see there. 14 of 14. For uh, for uh, for our QB, but uh, now over 170 now for steals here in today's game. So he is really trying to show off here. Maybe he got a contract coming up that he's trying to negotiate here, trying to stay here in Miami. As we go to a second and four, two minutes left here, and not much for us to do here at this point. We can just try to wrap this one up here. As we do get the first down, and that's just going to help us keep this clock moving. So we'll see a couple more plays here. Just got to try to keep this going here. Try to run this clock here, and just trying to get out of this one alive. It's going to be, of course, a big win. Don't want to give up any late-minute uh, scores here. But there you see. Oh, now over 150 yards now in the ball game here, at least on the ground. So that is nice there. So we'll get the, those extra XP here, especially with the uh, huge win that we're getting here now. Uh, we should be able to uh, try to do something here. As we'll see this one run on the outside there, and Drake again runs there. Here as he's now over 150 at 154, and we'll see with uh, 22 seconds left here. And just trying to run this clock here. They run this one there. And that is going to be in the end zone there. A little bit of overkill there. But, hey, it's still there. You see over 1,000 yards now for the season for Drake. And, uh, hey, it's the NFL. Got to keep playing to the final whistle. And that is exactly what they are doing here in this one. And they are trying to play to the final whistle here. And that's just going to be another score. I believe his fifth now here in today's game and you see Flores there asking hey what was going on why'd you guys score for we didn't need to score but hey we'll take it and we'll take go ahead and run with that here today so nice win there nice victory there for Khalil and for the Dolphins of course as they have really shown what they can do here and defensively you got to be impressed there They're only giving up 17 points there there you see uh, 275, 38 uh, yards on the ground, 168. Wow, and over I believe over one or over 240 there for us here in the passing game for Khalil Kelly. So 14 of 14, 287 to be exact, and two passing touchdowns. And look, no interceptions. That's so beautiful. Allen on the other hand, uh, there you see two touchdowns, three interceptions there for him as Josh Allen had a bad day there. The 23 of 34, 275 there. Completed only 67% of his passes. I was really impressed with Kelly. I wasn't, I, for a while there, I was, I mean, I was not really paying attention to his numbers because I figured, you know, we usually get around that 60% range or so. Um, at least what I've been looking at stats-wise, but could be a little bit more. But, yeah, Drake, um, 
you know, we only, or for, uh, I should say for Cal, we only threw 14 times there in the whole game, which is really impressive there. Uh, so we were able to connect with our uh, receivers. 36 of 164 there. So like I said, we're going to get some nice XP along with the five touchdowns. For, uh, he did have a fumble there, uh, but then uh, he also had nine broken tackles uh, there for us. As for LaShawn LaCroix, there you see, uh, six of 98, two scores there for him. Zach Jones, uh, six of 59. But there you see Kenny Steals, six for 172 and two scores for Miami. Yes. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. And that's going to help us. Uh, of course, that was a big help there for us, uh, for us here in this game here. As you take a look at the defensive numbers here, you guys can check those out. But for the most part there, very impressed there. And now we're going to get that sweet, lovely uh, <laughs> um, XP money there <laughs> to help us out here. And hopefully that will uh, levels up, help us level up in some areas here. And, of course, uh, trying to help out the rest of the team there because uh, hopefully we get some uh, XP there for the offensive linemen because they did a great job there. Open up the holes there and just really doing a great uh, – just – just overall, great performance there from them on the uh, rushing part of this ball game. And of course, it's protecting uh, Kelly there, as they did, did a, a great job there. You see the interceptions there. Jones with two, and Howard had one there. So that's the reason why we had some of those turnovers there and had that short field. So we'll go ahead and take a look here at some of the upgrades here. We got a few, uh, I believe. Uh, we'll try. I believe we're gonna try to scramble here. Because uh, I do want to make him a scramble. But at the same time, we kind of even work on his strong arm there. And uh, I use the improviser. And of course, it's a general mat or general general manager. Jeez, general field or field general, I should say. Jeez, I know I can read. <laughs> uh, but there you see. There we'll see what he's, what we're gonna pick here. I can't remember exactly what we picked. Looks like yeah. Okay, so strong. I kind of figured it was strong arm there. Um, but yeah, there you see the uh, what we got there, and there you see nice job there. And you see here, Keon Drake there, happy that what we got gave him today's game, and that is uh, gonna yeah, that's definitely gonna put him as a household name there. I'm sure Skip and them are gonna say, yo, they use the running game too much. We need, you know, he only threw 14 passes in the whole game. Uh, you know, what's the point? We didn't get that much uh, from him. But hey, you know, a win's a win, no matter how you get it. And uh, today, that's how they got it there. They got it over the running game. There you see 2,000 XP there. Of course, he gets a, uh, a uh, upgrade. He gets a de development upgrade there. So that's going to really help us out there later on here in the season. So as we wrap up today's episode, we'll take a look here. We're going to be taking on, oh, this is going to be good. 10-0 Miami taking on 9-1 Browns. The same Browns that beat. The Bills just last week there in a big game there. So this is going to be a slug match here. Might be a high octane game. And so I'm sure Coach is going to probably tell Kelly he needs to be prepared for this game here. As we do have a message from one of their defensive ends there, I believe Miles. Uh, I can't remember his last name there. But one of the big time defensive, uh, or defensive ends there for Browns. And we'll see how things go coming up in the next episode so if you guys enjoyed today's episode of khalil matt or excuse me khalil kelly qb1 here on madden 20 hit that like button don't forget to also to subscribe to the channel for more of this series and of course everything that is madden 20 here on the channel uh falls on um uh we got the links down below follows on facebook twitter and to score for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys so much. It's been a fun series here so far here, and I'm just really getting into it. I'm starting uh, playing more. I'm, I think like, I'm filming like two at a time and trying to edit two at a time here. So we'll see more of this uh, here in the next, uh, couple, next day or two here on the channel. So stay tuned for uh, the next episode. So this, like I said, it's going to be a good one here. I cannot wait. It's going to be a definitely be a uh, – I imagine it's going to be a uh, – <laughs> The offensive battle so we'll see how things go but that is it for me as always keep yourself each other healthy and i will see you guys next time